Hey viewers, we're having a look at a very simple puzzle game, but it may be a very familiar game to you guys. Uh, Othello, also known as Reversi, has, is uh, widely popular. There's tournaments and uh, grandmasters and all that sort of business. The board is laid out in the grid. Uh, you can play it either versus the computer here or versus another player. Um, the idea is you want to have more squares than your opponent. Um, normally this is played on a board with uh, white and black circles being placed on the tiles, but here it's uh, green versus red. And the way that you make a move is you have to select a square that has an enemy square in between yours and the one you're selecting. So for example, if I put on a 21 here, press enter that connects all of the uh, squares in between as turns them into my squares turns them into green ones uh, now the computer has made its own move and it goes turn by turn like that um, there are crazy amounts of strategies published for this game you can buy you know Othello for dummies and uh, Grandmaster's Guide to Othello and that sort of thing. I haven't looked at any of that, so I'm by no means an expert. Um, and a lot of the games seem to result in stalemates, at least the ones that I play where no one really wins, everything's just blocked off. Uh, I do know that one thing that's very important is getting ones on the side like this, which means that uh, they're protected on the one side. You know, you can't come in from off the edge of the board and uh, add new squares in and it might seem at some point like you've made a huge play and you've got so many squares but then if you have another one free just on the end the computer player or your opponent can come in and just take back everything plus some more on the side um, one thing that's a little bit of a problem in this DOS version is you can see that my uh, my channel name there has covered up two of the tiles but we can figure out you know which one they're going to be fortunately if you're working with you know a game that's got to take up 30 kilobytes of space sometimes you've got to make sacrifices in the UI So I'm not really running with any particular strategy here, I'm just uh, trying to make some good moves and see how far it gets me. Oh, what a steal. He's cut a big swathe through my, uh, through my score there. but hopefully I can take some of that back. Oh, I feel like this is uh, running away from me a bit here. The, uh, the style of this game though, the rules and such, lend themselves very well to a DOS game. There's very uh, few buttons that you have to press and turn-based games always work well. Uh, you do have to turn the frame skip down when you're playing this on DOSBox because like so many others it does go pretty haywire when you're going at 20 times the intended speed. I'm uh, playing this at 230 cycles which you can turn down with the control f11 control shift f11 and f12 keys to adjust that and it looks like I might have run out of moves yep so the winner is the person with the most score at the end they've got 53 I've got 11 
pretty obvious who's the winner there, but uh, I haven't been practicing as much as IBM has, I suppose. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Very simple game. Um, please keep watching.